Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. To all our esteemed physical and virtual attendees, welcome to the Project Execution Technology Conference and Exhibition 2021. Thank you for attending this prestigious event. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Sarah Hassan, Sales Account Manager from GE Digital Oil and Gas, and I'm serving as Director of Volunteers at Project Management Institute. And it's my great pleasure to be your Master of the Ceremony today. Today, it's my privilege to introduce industry leaders, starting with Mr. Badr Borshed. Mr. Badr is the President of the Project Management Institute in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, with more than 20 years of experience in the project management field within Saudi Aramco. He holds bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from King Fahad University of Petroleum and Minerals. Mr. Badr was recognized as PMO Leader of the Year by PMO Global Alliance, which is the world's largest community of PMO professionals. Currently, Mr. Badr is the Program Director of Marjan and Zulf Increment Programs which are two of the most ambitious and complex offshore-onshore programs in the region and the world. The programs will develop one of the world's largest offshore processing facilities, Saudi Aramco's largest ever offshore platforms, the world's longest 230 kilovolt subsea cables, complex networks of offshore oil, gas, and water injection facilities, and onshore gas oil separation plants. The project is being executed in multiple design offices and offshore fabrication yards around the world, in addition to the final integration in the kingdom's fields. Mr. Bader's solid experience reflects on the accomplishments of PMI Saudi TAP chapter during his presidency. Percentage of membership increased by over 1,800 members. 600 webinars were conducted, 250 PDUs granted, and the number of volunteers increased to reach 150. Professional certificates have dramatically increased in Saudi Arabia to rank number one in RMP, portfolio management, scheduling professional and PBA certificates, and rank number three in obtained PMP globally. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage Mr. Badr Borshaid for the opening remarks. Distinguished guests, I would like to thank you all, our honored guests, for the joining us today in the inauguration of the Project Execution Technology Conference that brought to you in the fruitful co collaboration between Saudi Aramco Project Management and the Project Management Institute of Saudi Arabia. Before I start, I would like to give a special appreciation to Saudi Aramco Project Management Vice President, Mr. Abdelkrim Al Ramdi, who is a true pioneer in leading the execution technologies vision driving its implementation of the Saudi Aramco projects and spreading it through widely, through the locally and globally through the project management communities. We have chosen a special theme for this conference and it, it calls RISE. RISE is a lateral abbreviation. It stands for revolution and smart execution, which is an essence of our conference today. And it's our hope and confidence that we'll find the conference useful and having smarter project execution. However, RISE is not only a lateral abbreviation. We chose it because it gives a symbolic meaning of what smart project execution can do, which capitalized in technologies, companies, corporations, and even nations can rise through the successful implementation of project management, which aim to utilize the latest technologies, industrial revolutions and technologies to continue rising and delivering successful project, no matter how the challenging they are. Ladies and gentlemen, today, in today's world, it is impossible executing our project in the same traditional old ways that aim to heavily depending on manual operation, paperwork, and human interpretations. The fourth industrial revolution and the latest advancement in the artificial intelligence, digitization, cloud computing, and robotics, and other advanced technologies 
provide us with the more efficient, safe, and cost-effective approaches to execute the projects. Through utilization of these technologies, we can have a seamless communications between project team, regardless where they are around the globe, via the virtual collaboration. We can now track project activities, resources, with the click of a tablet or mobile devices. Data management has become more efficient and provided an easier way to analyze the, and draw the right conclusions from the data. The workflow automations has significantly been reduced the paperwork, allowed for faster execution and collaboration between the project team, is now unobstructed and has capitalized on smart interfaces. Even in the riskiest and most challenging areas of project management, which is the construction project in urban areas or subsea installations, and other challenging work sites, the advancement of robotics, AI technologies, provide us now with the safer execution, simplified what we used to be very complex and challenging execution. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a famous saying, is to improve is to change. And to be perfect is to change often. With that unprecedented advancement in our country, is blessed with, with a great ambition that fuel our daily aspiration to excel and achieve our target of the Vision 2030. It has been become wise that we change our traditional ways of executing projects to be smarter and more intelligent and utilizing the latest technologies. As you all know, projects are stepping stones to achieve our Vision 2030. And the responsibility is on each one of us, of a member of the Kingdom's project management community, to deliver the schedule, on schedule, on budget, and to the highest possible standard of safety and quality. Our conference today is an important addition to aid project delivery to right path. It brings us the best of the world and aims to exchange ideas and expertise so all of us can achieve the best result in a project. We have prepared an exciting a well-prepared program for the hybrid event that covers smart execution, leveraging AI for optimized project management, and a special session for Made in KSA to conclude the first day. On the second day, which will be the vir fully virtual, we will start in green technologies, followed by the use of drones and robotics, increased automation, and digitization. And we will conclude with a smart engineering and smart safety track. We hope that we will enjoy also the exhibition that we have made for this conference. Finally, I would like to thank all of our organizers for this great achievement. To our all participants, thank you for all for coming thus far to join us to this journey to rise. And to everyone, I would like to thank you all for a pleasant and fruitful conference. Thank you so much.